Sorry about that. I did have to use the restroom quite urgently. This is the first night, so let us see how long we can survive. Let's go to YouTube to Bacon Creepy. Is he streaming seven days or not? Okay, next up on our list. 20 flagstone blocks. He is not. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the first night we will maybe need a bit more resources. And we won't be doing much of anything since we are level 4 and quite a scared of zombies at night. So let's just gather up some wood. Let's prepare for the night. Let's cook up our murky water. Maybe get a few more eggs. And that should be all that we need. Since this biome is really, really close to the elemental protection is one hour lasting, it's really close to the desert. I may just run over there to gather up some eggs real fast. The desert is the best place to find eggs real easy. Plus, if you can find some chickens, you can get feathers plus meat at the same time as well. If we can get up to 14 or 15 bacon and eggs, we should be in the clear. Of course, number one priority is water at the moment. How much wood do we have now? Okay. Let's go to the desert. We can get some yucca. And some alloy as well. Okay, this is already a bit of um, desert soil right here. These are also really great for getting wood fast at the beginning. If you are spawned in the desert biome. Don't fret. The desert biome is not that bad of a first spawning place. Ah, you disgusting bird you. Come on. Any more of you? I don't think so. Let's take care of our little bunny friend. We got nine meat more. Should go really well. We won't be even harvesting any of these birds. They're quite unnecessary. And this is what I mean. It's so clear and so easy to see where all of the birds nests are in the desert biome. So in like two to three minutes you can harvest a whole bunch of eggs. We did say we need some yucca. You don't need to worry about zombies in the desert. You can just walk around them. Like this guy, he's really slow. And that woman as well. So until nightfall, they're none of your concern. Literally just walk past them. You can also hunt animals quite easily over here. They are abundant. Where was the little rabbit? 
Never mind. Oh, here he is. Did he go into the hole? I hope not. Poor little bunny's gonna get murdered there. Okay, a bird. Let's take our club out. Okay. Not good. Let's take one of the bandages. Birds are not forgiving at all. Let's see over here. Okay, somebody just detonated in the mine. Good thing is that will attract all of the zombies to that location. Except for this guy who has seen me. Let's make a small circle here. Okay, there's a lot of good POIs in this area. However, we are not looking for POIs at the moment. Our main concern is getting our food supply up. And that's exactly what we are doing. Oh. Okay, that bird was not a big threat. The cactus is a bigger threat. I do like walking into cactuses. I do think that's one of my specialties. What do we have here? Another level 2 club. We can smelt that down for iron. A little bit of more eggs. Okay. All of the POI is near here. Ah, uh, we hate snakes. I mean, I don't literally hate them. They're just hard to kill. As you can see right here. Okay, snake is gone. We will harvest all of the meat from it in a second. Let's get our shiv out. There's a pig somewhere getting killed on a cactus. Nope. Let's. Okay. Small bunny. Okay. Sweet. We're getting quite a decent amount of meat. Okay, a few more birds nests would be very preferable. There are quite a few in this area. Let's harvest them and let's run back. It's already late. Uh, there's a nurse there. Let's run for it. Okay. Let's slowly go back. I do think we have more than enough food here to last us throughout the first few days. Come on. Two more. Sure, let's gather as much as possible. Not really a lot of eggs, but Still a good amount of resources. How many do I have? 35. One more if possible. Nope. One here. Okay, that's three eggs. Yeah, sure. You keep telling yourself that. And the last one. Okay. Now, not literally the last one. If we find any bird's nests on our way to camp, 
we will be looting the resources out of them. However, it will be the last one we focus on. Next thing is finishing off our roof on our base. Um, like I said, cooking up the murky water and just hunkering down for the night. Uh, okay. And getting one more tree as well. It's gonna be pretty dark pretty soon. I will up the gamma so you viewers can enjoy the night. I won't be doing much of anything during the night. Mostly because I'm in an area where it's too crowded, too many buildings, so it wouldn't be recommendable for me to dig or anything. over 500 I shouldn't be encumbered so everything should be fine um, I don't have any stone let's gather one more stone here in case we will need it yeah it's fine if I'm encumbered don't really care We will be doing our leveling up as soon as we get to our base. Two and three. Done. It's not the ideal base, it's not the most secure one as well. However, it's good enough. Now let's see here. We wanted to fill up our roof. Let's take our trusted torch, which is right here. No, I did not say I want to do any of that. Let's build up the roof here. Uh, I have a wrench. I can use that one to upgrade, but I do think actually the stone axe may be a bit faster since I didn't find a claw hammer or nail gun. So let's make some frames. This is a five by five, so 24 frames will be needed until they are done. Let's drop off all of these lovely resources. Um, okay, I don't think I have any more room in there. So let's take this out. Let's put in this one. Um, what else can we take out that we don't need inside? The grain alcohol, the glass pane. Mm, let's grab the cans. Okay. Putting up all of these. Okay, now let's upgrade the roof. The one thing I like about flagstone is when you place it you don't need any upgrading with the uh, wood axe. Upgrading with this one is really slow and really not, ple not pleasant. Okay, I'll need four of these, four ladders and a hatch. Ladder four, hatch one, wood hatch. It's easier to understand where I'm gonna place things. Okay. Nope. No extra upgrading, just basic. 
Night one should be pretty simple to survive. Stay inside of your small base. Don't look at anyone and you should be fine. Note always make a level two. If you make a level two you're gonna be able to just stand on the roof if it comes to a bad scenario. I did make one too many. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. This is set up. Take your weapons because even if it's the night, still enemies can come in and give you a nice time. Okay. Hatch is ready. Set it up so it opens opposite of how you're going up. And there you have it folks, your first night base. Should be easy to make, should be easy to maintain. Not much I can tell you more except for good luck and don't die. 12, 6 and the rest goes inside. Need three minutes, four minutes, I have five. Everything literally perfect in the game. In the meantime, flagstone blocks, 16. Flagstone poles. Or flagstone half blocks. Let's see here. Can make some arches. Hmm. Pillars are not so useful. Thirty four. Let's just make one. And let's see how it will look. Three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Okay, I have centered poles. Okay, should look good. I can make 33 more. Let's drink up some water. Let's put the empty jars inside. Let's take all of our BNA. And let's put these babies up. I can still pass through them. So we have to be careful. We don't want to get ourselves in a bad position because we may fall off and die. So I need 10, 20, 30, 40. I have a little bit of materials that I can use to make more poles. We will see. I will need six more. Each one of them is uh, four. So six should be 28. Okay. Let's put the rest of these down or up. And the top part will be made out of wood. Since I actually have more wood than any other resource at the moment. It's the easiest to gather on the low levels. I do hope that you guys also stack up on wood. What's that over there? 
graves. Honestly don't know. I will check it out in the morning. Two, three. Let's go four. Let's go with frames. Ten. Forty. Forty just for this part. Okay. Should be all for now. You will be thinking about making another level. But I don't think I need it at the moment. Blackstone pole. Centered, centered. 7 0. Oh. Okay, I need 6 only. Never mind. Let's put these up. level building has been erected in the night and who says Rome hasn't been built in a day okay one two three four and five and let's upgrade all of these Actually, I could, yeah, I could take those out and put flagstone. It would look nicer. Just one level of wood. Hmm. almost I do have two skill points available two and two my level is six we will see what we need for the forge I have forgotten already and the intelligence I do think I need level four intellect yeah level 10 and level four Okay, should be a piece of cake to get. I'm getting a decent amount of light. Yep. Shouldn't worry about anything. Moon will be right up in a second. I personally love it. Let's see here. Trader is right here. Ooh. Trader. I don't have a lot of coins to spare, however, if the trader is that close, I may go just check him out. This part is set up. From here I can see and snipe all of the zombies quite easily. I can even go through these if needed, but they go for some protection. I don't know if birds can come through these. I may just end up baiting a single a vulture and checking if it can pass through. Could make a window roof. Hmm. How much is a wood window? Four. I need 25. I don't think it will hold actually. 
let's pick up the rest of our resources and we uh, this one I will scrap down I have no use for it at the moment should I go out and gather some more resources that's the question now mm. Really hard question at that. Let's make more cobblestone. Let's close this part up. And let's go out here. We have a little bit of durability on our pickaxe. Let's slowly go over to this bird's nest right here, to this one as well. Gather up all the eggs we can, we can store them away for later. And then... That was a lumber mill, I take it. And then let's slowly harvest this stone. Slowly and quietly. We need a lot of stone after the pickaxe is broken. We will gather the clay round here. Okay, relax. No worries. We have night time, the night is long. Don't need any sand at the moment. I still didn't explore quite a lot, so I don't know when I can get a water source. Probably if I can find a waterworks anywhere, I can get a water source quite easy. I may get a bucket and just prepare a water source near my base, like a well. Um, we have 14 bacon and eggs, but let's not waste them. Okay. Last hits on the pickaxe. How many are left? One, two, three, four, and five. One more. Two more. Three more. Four more. And five more. This item needs repairs. Okay. Bless you, pickaxe. You've given us a lot until I get some steel to repair you. You're just gonna sit here quietly and enjoy your vacation. Um, let's start our restream IO chat. Maybe we have a viewer or two. I am not sure. However, I do hope we do. Hooray! The chat is waiting for new messages. Thank you, chat. Fortunately, there is nobody enjoying our stream at the moment. I do think in due time, somebody will like what I do here and will enjoy the chat. Oh, hey, Punish. I'm sorry, my restream shows I have zero viewers, so I didn't know anyone was watching. You're a seven days to die player, I take it as well. Oh, really? That's quite lucky then. That's quite fortunate for me. Just saying I have no viewers when a viewer pops up. Do you also play permadeath or do you play just standard games? Okay, let's see here. More cobbler. Also, thanks for dropping by the channel. If you will like it, feel free to follow. If not, still thank you for giving me that extra view. Every view helps. 
I am making a guide for permadeath series, how to survive. Oh, your brother set up the server and you're playing on his server. That's also nice. It's always lovely to play with somebody. I am waiting for a friend who has a server called Bacon Creepy to play with him, but I think he went a wall. Hmm. Should have enough now. Um, yeah. I have enough for the outer walls. No zombies coming to take my life. Okay. Um, now this is just basically how to survive the day one. Not much to do over the night, just mining the resources, preparing a base. Just basically preparing for what's to come in the following few days. If you're lucky like me, you can find some good working stiff crates. I got a steel pickaxe, which is now already zeroed on durability. I used it to gather up as much stone as possible. Uh, that helps a lot. It lets you set up a two-level cobblestone base in day one and lets you get a few extra levels on the low ranks. Really helps in the long run. Stay tuned if you want to see how this permadeath series will work out. I have got enough, uh, not to forge, a uh, campfire with... Uh, I have a NVIDIA 6GB graphics card. Um, I have 48GB uh, of RAM, an i7 processor, 8th uh, generation with... How many? 4.2 gigahertz per core. Um, I have an SSD with 256 gigabytes. I think all of my settings are maximum. Full screen VSync, gamma is on. Reflection quality is low. Texture quality is high. Three quality ultra, grass distance far. Motion blur, I can turn this all up, but reflection quality is not needed. Basically, high quality graphics. Uh, this uh, particular gaming laptop did cost a bit. Uh, it was totaled at three thousand dollars, three point something. So. As much as you invest into your gaming rig, that's how much you will get from it. Mm. What graphics do you have and what kind of PC do you run or laptop? Or do you play on your PS4? Also, don't do this unless you're an experienced player. If you draw in zombies overnight, you might have a bad time. And luckily, chopping down trees is the best way to attract zombies. 1050Ti, that would be a i5, but it's AMD, so yeah, I don't know much about PCs. I uh, have PC 150Ti. The 150Ti is probably the graphics card name. It's not bad, but not excellent as well. Um, should be okay, but you'd probably be running at medium graphics. Mm, probably you have around 8 gigabytes of RAM in that one. Random access memory is really important, so I do suggest if you want to run a little bit higher graphics, you need a, some extra random access memory. This game 
literally eats ram for breakfast. Actually, I need one only. It still will be set up in the bottom. Or two in the top. Two in the top, two in the top. Let's move our things here. Um, what I can recommend... 16 gigabytes of RAM, I did only have 8 gigabytes. Yeah, the standard does have 8. You added 8 gigabytes of RAM. A standard graphic card, they would be a 180 now. And I have a 16 I did only have... Yeah, this game plus which Windows you're running. If you're running 10, that's eating about 2.4 gigabytes of RAM by itself. Um, this game can eat up to 8 gigabytes alone. I do tend to have at least 8 extra bits... The, if the recommended in a game is 8 gigabytes of RAM, you would do best to have double that so you can play on like good quality graphics. Um, basically, the i5 is. How many gigahertz do you have? Do you know how to go into system settings and check it out? You can right click your my, my computer icon and uh, go to properties and then system settings uh, that way you can see how many gigs of uh, memory you have that will help a lot in describing what your current status is okay 504 Let's remake these later. I want to start organizing my base. Um, let's see here. Chess can go on the wall here. They won't fall then, probably. Old ha sham sandwiches. Don't need those. Let's go right here. Old sham. Food. Let's put all of these things here. Can make some basic bandages if needed. Tools can go here. Crafting components and materials as well. Iron, iron. Let's put the iron. Gas can go in this part. Ammo parts will go into this chest as well. Okay, have a good night and thank you for the follow. It helps a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to post them at any time. I'll be happy to answer. And there we go. XA Punish has subscribed. Thank you very much, sir. Have a lovely night. Glass pane, glass pane, a pane in the glass. Okay, we are almost done. Uh, let's put the food back first. Let's make stacks evenly. Let's go and make some more room right here. Um, we will be splitting up these things so we know what goes where. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, honey can go here. Let's throw in the MS SMG. This one can go here. Another wrench I will leave with me. I will not be crazy and not carry any wrench with me. I may need some farts. Parts, not farts, sorry. Bad word to use. Um, leave this one here. Uh, bullet casings can go here, mm, nails can go inside, oil can go inside, glue can go inside, 
these are not needed at the moment. Let's grab the rest of the things from here. Should remake my campfire up top as well. Yep. Let's do that. We have time. Dropping the vitamins. First aid kit we won't be using anytime soon. That's our lifeline package. Uh, let's see. This one is right over here, so the next pillar will go up there. Uh, I don't really need to. Oh, I don't really need to put up a sleeping bag. I have the what you call it, the land claim block as the base marker. Um, let's put the moldy bread right over here. This one is also a crafting resource. This one is also a crafting resource. More ammo, the blood pack, and this, and the empty jars can all go in here. And we are done with sorting out these things. Nice. Uh, the shovel can also go inside. I don't think I can get much use out of it at the moment. Let's go and get us some more wood. And let's hope that no zombies decide to visit us. It's a quiet night and I would like it to stay quiet. Okay, let's eat one of the eggs and bacon. Let's go to here. Is it empty already? Yeah, it is. So never mind. Uh, maybe I should have checked out what that one has in store for us. I will be do the, doing that a little bit later. There's only a lot of houses in this area, I think. Okay, we took down three trees. Should be enough noise for the Zambozos. Nope. Nobody's coming our way. Quite odd. There is a few mansions there. There is a building over there as well. Hmm. We will see what the day two holds. For now, let's just whack away on this rock and get some experience. I need that forge up and running in a bit. Advanced engineering, uh, hammer and forge, level 20 and intellect 5. Ugh. It's gonna be a long, long way to getting iron tools. Even if I do a good time, good job looting and Farming resources. I would love to use the steel pickaxe as much as possible, however... It will take a lot of time until I get up to the steel part. Ah. Okay. It's gonna go fine, I think. The level 1 base is done. The first day is over. We have a supply of bacon. We have a supply of water. The desert's nearby. Probably will make a small mine in the desert. It's easier to punch through the sand than it is to dig through the stone. And basically that's it. 
tomorrow is trying to get iron tools, looting a few houses, trying to get a shotgun, maybe some more supplies, and of course trying to not die from the zombies. I do hope everything will go as planned. Only 40 more minutes, 39, until day comes and I can start looting houses again. Okay. Should be going really well. How much do I have? 266. I have enough for making the outer wall now. Um, need 48, 64, I think. We will leave a hole in the wall so the zombies get concentrated on the choke point. And the rest will be going into the pillars. The day two base probably will be strong enough to withstand the first horde on day seven if I play it out right. Ah, uh, you're thirsty. Yes, I know, but water is a very valuable commodity. Please do not abuse it. Okay, have eight. I need 56 more. <laughs> okay, no zombies are dropping in my home. Should be having a decent enough time. Okay, 3.40 a.m. It's quite an easy and relaxing night. No zombies in sight. My base is fine, peaceful. Everything is going hunky dory. Let's see here. Let's go and set up the defense. Oh, and let's also take care of this small tree. It's annoying me. Okay, 30 damage per hit. Uh, dreadful. Okay. Let's repair this guy. Let's go into here. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. Um, we need to take care of this lovely lady. Um, let's see, one, one, two, three, four. Let's connect this part already. Let's count out one, two, three, and four. Okay. Let's count this part out as well. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Let's check. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Other side as well. And then let's prepare the entrance. Mm. Sure. We will be hoping that the zombies focus on the door. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Since this is a smaller build, we don't have to worry too much. Yep. Okay. I did make 
a few extra blocks. Nine, okay. One, two, and three. We need three more. When I meant three more, I meant three more blocks, not three more pages. Blackstone pillars. Let's make 40. Let's set up the blocks on the corners. Should be able to withstand a horde or two. One, two, and three. Um, I might need a few more blocks for the entrance way, but never mind that. Okay. Mm. 40 might not be enough. Let's make 40 more. Let's make 24 more. Just let's not overdo it. And the rest will go into the blocks but a little bit later. Let's remove you from this part. Let's go down a bit. Switch the gun and the axe. This will be the drop off box from now on. The roof will be made at a later date. Uh, yeah, the resources go in here, the empty jar goes in here, and let's go back to looting. As soon as we, of course, set these pillars down. Since they are made, let's at least make the entranceway look like an entranceway. Okay. Looks actually decent. Let's see here. Looting, looting. Uh, let's go this way. Do think I lose it out this one. Let's try to find a building that has some some extra resources inside. Um, I may have been in the front part of this one. Yeah, I have been in the front part of this one. I emptied the car. This part has nothing of value for me. Okay, the poles are prepared. Almost all of them. Let's just scout out. Okay. Maybe we should just go into this one. does look like a decent enough place to loot. Okay. I don't know how I miss her with that kit. But we won't be judging the game. It's still in the alpha. Okay, let's run out of here real fast. No, 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 no. Stairs that go up. Okay, let's go out here. Let's go out here. Okay, we found an exit and we're alive. We are alive. Okay guys, come up here. This is my domain. Okay. Nice. Okay. Some payback. Okay, one down. Let's go, two down. Okay, let's loot this while our stamina is regenerating. Let's take off the care of the darling businessman. 
Okay. Right this way, sir. Oh, we have a whole party. One down. Let's walk in small circles here. Ooh, there's actually a whole horde here. Let's take care of them one by one. And more are joining from every location. Sweet. Hmm. Okay. Let's slowly walk this way. And let's use the basic attack. You can just clobber them to death and walk one by one. It's basically a walking conga line of experience. Come on, you know you want to. Try to hit the head as much time as many times as is possible. But they don't mind if you hit other body parts as well. They're actually quite friendly when they're lying down in their pool of blood. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. Please come here, one at a time, preferably. Okay. Let's drink some water and pull out our trusted club. We do like to go clubbing. Okay. Okay, Forsaken Mommy is here as well. Let's take care of the young gentleman right here. Okay, come on Mommy. Watch the birdie. Okay, almost two levels just from cleaning out a single house from zombies. It's kind of awesome. This place should be more or less safe now. We can loot in peace. If there is a zombie or two here, I'm not going to mind that much. I will be a little bit more careful since I did fall through the floor. However, I do think good things are about to happen. When speaking of the loot, of course. Okay. A machete. Okay, one out of one. That was a perfect find. Um, candy cane knife, iron reinforced club, ski goggles. These give me plus one to agility. These give me plus one to perception. Let's take the one to perception. Okay, another one. A hunting rifle. Nice. I am encumbered now. So it would be preferable if I go home and drop off these things. However, we do know I have to loot the basement. It's the only logical way of things. I don't have any room, but I will find it. Let's see here. A piece of cloth. The t-shirt can go. Wood club as well. We don't need it. This and this can go. No pillars at the moment. No thank you. We've had our fill of things 
Um, there is nothing here. There is a small medical supply here. An antibiotic. Always lovely. No matter what time it is in a game, I'm always happy to find an antibiotic. Okay, scrappable. Uh, <laughs> Let's throw away this one. Okay, now this guy here doesn't know. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can I shoot him, please? Thank you. Shoot him in the crotch. Oh, what the heck, man. Thank you. Yeah, I would be hurting too if I got arrows there. Okay, he's done and out. Oh, one arrow can be scrapped. Golden rod seeds are not important. This is empty. And let's go back up. There is nothing on top there. There is a backpack right over here behind this metal plate. While I break it, I may actually even get a next level, which will be lovely. And I do think, yep, yeah, literally from getting the two or three experience, I got the level. Excellent. The backpack was empty. Not to worry, though. We got a good amount of resources and everything as it is. And we can go homes. My inventory is full. I got a level 3 wrench now. This room had a hole in it. Yeah, all of these are... Oh, there may be one more location I want to loot. Okay. Not the safest place to visit. Oof, that was a rough one. Thank God I did survive. And get out in peace with a decent amount of loot as well. Can't complain at all. I also have my pillars ready so I can finish up my wall. And day two was a success. Okay. Nail walking. I want to craft a bike as soon as possible. Okay. A few more eggs are always lovely. And we will be going back into the desert as soon as we craft a poncho. What do I need for the poncho? 20 leather. Ugh, expensive. Let's finish up this one first. Hmm. 
Mm, not even close to finishing it up. Okay. We will be crafting poles off from all of the leftover cobblestone. Pillars, sorry, not poles. Let's drop off the loot and think about our next move. Let's see here. Uh, crafting materials all go inside of this one. Yep. Mm, let's leave the level 2 wrench here as well. Dropping off this. Uh, cloth was going in the same one. Uh, oh, I have another die. Let's put it inside of our stone axe. We have nothing better to put it in at the moment. Okay. Antibiotics. I do have enough for a poncho. Okay, let's make a poncho first. We will be making armor and everything later. Candy cane club, I don't need. Um, let's put the duct tape where it belongs. Let's put the other level 1 wrench where it belongs. Uh, the level 1 shovel needs to be here. Machete can go inside. I won't be using it at the moment. Hunting rifle as well. Leather duster can go here. Actually, let's scrap that one. I already have a leather duster on me. Let's go into this part. Mm, you can go here. The yucca seed. 20 something. Okay. Let's put you guys here. Let's put this one in. Let's put this one in. And let's cook up the water and set up the blocks. Since we are no longer encumbered. And the water will be cooked up here. I do forget sometimes, so I beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen. I am a bit slow. Arrows, stone arrows will be needed. Uh, ammo goes in this one. Let's just put the steel arrows inside. They will be used for special occasions. Special occasions are life and death situations. Like being attacked by a bear or something. The pistol at the moment with 87 and 100 bullets is quite enough for any endeavor. We need to save our ammo, of course, for possibly good POIs. Okay. We need six more cobblestone. Uh, let's get the clay. Let's put on our poncho. Let's put away our litter duster and let's put away our litter. Uh, let's see here. We did cook up the water. Yeah. One is left. Le that's fine. Let's we'll save it here. I need a little bit of clay. Six, ten in total. Let's make cobblestones real fast. Then we can make some arrows afterwards. But first is poles. Pillars, sorry. Let's go. Three pillars, arrows. And we're good to go. Okay. We can survive in the desert now. So let's try to find a decent POI. And of course some animals on the way. And let's put this one back. Hmm. What should we loot first? 
Or should I visit the trader first? That's the question. I wish I could get a bike. But I don't think it's going to be that fast. Maybe a few days. And hello to our new viewer. Thank you for dropping by the channel. This is a permadef series where I'm making a beginner's guide how to survive. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Okay. Nope, not here. Don't need this one. Let's see what's over the corner. Maybe a factory. I need a working stiff or a shotgun messiah. Or a water source. Water source would be best. Pipe down. Mm. Daycare, daycare. Home base. Okay, a big city. Passing gas is always good, but at a later time. Huh. This one could be decent. Please rest and relax. Everything is going to be perfectly fine. We are taking care of you, madam. Um, okay, if I was a higher level, that would be a beautiful place to visit. However, I am not. So let's just take care of these zombies as best we can with our trusted club. That may be a bunker right over there. I do think it is one. Let's go check it out. This is a cornfield behind a house. Those never bode well. Uh, I do wish I could find a farm. Come on. Come on, guys. Need to help you break out of there. Okay, nah, I don't want to hit you yet. Let's go. Come on. Tittle D and Tittle Do. Oh, you guys are resilient. Let's go. Hut, 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 hut. The Mike Tyson one punch KO. Come on. Okay, it didn't register the experience for the second zombie. But do remember, this is an alpha game. So you can hit me through these. Okay. So what do we have here? A miniature home with a few zombies inside. Big Mama and her crew. Let's drop some arrows onto them. Please do not avoid my arrows, they were expensive to make. Okay. Is that all? Yeah. Oh no, it's not. Don't scare me like that. I do not like to be scared. Passing gas sealed crate. Let's break it up if possible. Mm. Let's see here. Okay, what will we find inside is the question. We have been decently lucky so far with our loot. 
and we got everything we need for a bicycle now the only thing we need is a bicycle skill bicycle building skill we got our arrow back as well it's quite a good run okay fortunately this part is emptied out we can remove this candy can knife will we need a bone to repair it oh didn't know that plus these guys were breaking out down that wall but right ne next to it they can just go out through the door don't they know I mean come on zombies using doors is even lower than basic education even you have to have enough brains for that okay a burnt down biome we will not be visiting that any zombies inside of here I guess not a bunker okay I don't know what to expect inside of it I don't even know if I should go inside of it would be more happy if it was a real well but oh well now on the map there is no water source whatsoever Bob's Wars and Carl's Corn. I did find it finally. And it's super close to my base. This is the best thing that can probably happen to me. So, modified super corn available and. Oh my. Oh my, our food situation has been solved. Dear people. Okay, this is what it looks like. So this is the location we've been looking for all of this time. Ouch. Your neck did extend a little bit weirder. Okay. Nice. Save location, food for life. Okay, all of this here. Um, but what? I reckon there should have been some piggies inside but never mind that's a sham way is there a piggy here I do think there is no, it's a small rabbit. Okay, let's cut it. There's no fat. Fat free rabbits. Who would have thought? Uh, I don't really want to go inside yet. I could just take a peek. Oh. Okay. Let's break down this one block. And let's take a peek inside. We are. Oh, it's a snake. God, I love animals so much. Okay, the snake is fighting a piece of sand.
the sand is saving your life, Snake. Or was the snake actually stuck in the piece of sand? You never know. Um, I do think... Why am I getting overheated? Okay, never mind. Let's go back. This is becoming hazardous for our health. I don't know if I can die from overheating. Okay, this should be the other biome, so... Yep. My stamina is going up slightly. I'm still hot, but not that hot. We did find where the Bob's boars are, so that's a big plus. We could go and try to get to the trader, or we could just go home, drop off these things, and make a plan how to get back and not die. Ah, uh, you think so? Okay. Let's see how much it can reduce it. Heat resist is seven. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. If I remove this one, nope. I'm still too hotly. Um. Nothing seems to help. And I do take it that our friend Bacon here has. Uh, Scrapped his plans to play seven days to die. Am I right? Ah, oh, any wells anywhere? Even Orson Wells. I hate being encumbered. However, 90% of this game I am encumbered. Oh, no, no, no. I know you were trying to help. There's nothing bad about it. Yep. That's why I decided to just uh, start a new series with Permadef. Even if he's not playing, doesn't mean I don't have to. And it's 5 p.m., so I will be taking a short break at this time. Sorry to jump off as soon as you jump in, but I will be back in 20 minutes or so. Need to stretch my legs and my back. Uh -huh. Oh, and look at the base. All finished in day one except for the outer wall that was today. So this is day 2, 10 a.m. I already have a base set up that can probably defend the first horde. I just need to remember where I parked the entrance. Okay. So I'll have double doors. 
double doors, double doors. Should be nice. I gathered a lot of feathers. Mm. I do have a decent amount of eggs already and a little bit of meat. Can actually cook up three more bacon. I found the Bob's boars just a minute before you jumped in, I think. So I will be preparing to go there and loot the whole place. Mm, the aloe can go here. Bike parts can go here. I don't know how to make it yet, but it's going to be quite soon. I am sure of it. Scrap the can. We don't like cans. Broken glass can go. The magazine. Heavy metal can stay here. Uh, hooded sweatshirt I can put back on. Moldy bread goes into the other section. This one goes here. This one goes here. Oh, this one goes into the other section as well. We have a decent amount of fuel. This is basically it. Oh, and more feathers. A whole big stack of feathers. Ah, forgot to put the glass panes in. Okay. Now the next question is, how fast can we actually get to the Bob's Boars? Uh... Most people say there's only one per map, so I do think I'm extremely lucky to find it. If it really has that much food inside, I think this will be the longest lasting uh, let's play that I could possibly manage. Um, bicycle handlebars, um, I need levels. I need oh so many levels. Uh, intelligence was four. Let's go up to three and let's go up to four. Grease monkey, you can craft bicycles. Oh, I can do it already with the next skill point. Okay. Um, let's take our trusted wrench. Let's go disassemble a few car or two. I should have a few cars right close by. I need that bicycle if I'm going to go to the bo Bob's Boars. What's this one? Uh, I was here. The mini burnt biome. Um... The POIs where I planted my base are really bad. However, the ones nearby are really good. So, I did travel a little bit. This is food for life. I marked it as food for life, of course. And I do think that really soon I will be set for life. Let's just get those handlebars ready. Okay, more ammo for the hunting rifle that we won't use because it's only level 1. I need a demolished car. Or at least a partially demolished car. Any of those close by? Let's loot the trash. You never know what treasures you can find in somebody's trash. Not that I do it in real life. Oh my dear lord. A bear. Can I kill it? Maybe it was not the best idea. Let's run. Where is it? Okay. Let's try and kill the bear. How many bullets can you take? Jesus. Okay. Sweet. We got ourselves a bear. Day two. It only took 40 bullets. And sweet. And also a wrecked car right next to him.
Now you did say that these right here offer honey sometimes. I do wish to see if I can get some from it. Yep, I got some honey. Thank you. Thank you kindly, sir. Free food. Ah, man. So, he didn't even wave his hands, but he hit me. No comment. The piggies respawn. Oh! Yep. Barrelicious. I can barely abstain myself. Uh, should we get one more car? Uh, let's see here. Nope, everything's good. I'll loot those POIs in a bit. Let's just go home. Let's craft ourselves a bicycle. Level two by uh, day two bicycle is quite nice. Okay, you don't like the keys. I do have to learn how to turn that off. Okay, bicycle handlebars, duct tape too. I do think I have it. Uh, right here, yep, I have more than enough. Uh, oh, I don't have the skill at the moment. Okay, let's leave all of the things we don't need. Means this one. We can cook up some more eggs and bacon is also lovely. Let's put in three of these. Take all of this. Ooh, 11 cooking up in total. And we still have extra eggs. Nice. Testosterone will go here. Let's repair this one using a bone. Let's put all of this in. I have enough for the forge as well. Um... Level 10 for bicycle. Um, I'm level 8 and I'll show you right here. Uh, I can get the skill already. I just need to level up. So at level probably as soon as you get intelligence 4 you can do it. Uh, let's see here. One for this and then one, one, two. Okay. Yeah. So I need two of these. Two can go in. I don't need any gas. I don't need any headlights. This is literally all. I need to take two leather though. I need to take the two wheels and this one. And let's go farm a level real fast. And yes, we will literally be doing it real fast. Probably there is no uh, level requirement for the bicycle. You just need to be able uh, you know, just need to be intelligent enough to have the skill, and then you can get the bicycle real fast. Uh, what do you think, Lee? How how much time will I need before I get to Iron Tools? I did start two hours ago. I'm level eight. Tomorrow is my day off, but I do think maybe today even I can get. If my wife lets me play, of course. Okay. Need a little bit more experience. Let's take down a few more trees. Uh. Okay. Thank God for the marked airdrops. I'm viewing in this direction. Airdrop. Hello new viewer, thank you for dropping into the channel. Yeah, Iron Tools requirement is level 20. Mm, I think I need one day for it. 
in the poncho and the duster for heat resist. I think the duster might be better. I had a duster on, it doesn't help that much. Poncho is better for heat, duster is better for water. For like a um, cold environment, sorry. Okay. Yep. Happy wife, husband has no life. A very popular saying. Oh, and I have good news. I got a new subscriber. I'm up to 16 at Twitch at the moment. And I have 17 subscribers on YouTube. I will see if I can get to 500 subscribers uh, until uh, July. If I can't, then I probably will be starting to search for a real life job. If I actually do manage to do that in three months, then I will try to push it out another three months to get to a thousand. Okay. Okay, everything is here and everything is ready. If the wife is unhappy, the husband gets a big slappy. Across his whole face, of course. And I also do think I will be experimenting with different times for streaming. I will check with her if that's alright and I would like to stream overnight as well. I do think overnight I can get more viewers since night in Korea is uh, after work time in America. Okay. I have my bicycle. Why can I not pl place my bicycle? Does my bicycle not like this place? Okay, thank you. Uh, remove the stone axe, put the pistol in, throw these away. Scrap the... F no, don't scrap it. Let's be reasonable people here. Let's see here. Uh, where are my chests? Oh, right over here. Uh, the four iron can go here, this one can go here, I can go back down and I can steal all of the bacon that I've been making from myself. Okay, two things. First thing is, let's try to find a water source. Let's go up this small hill. Maybe I can find a river close by. If I can find that, it's mostly GG. Or a good game, if you may. If you may. Okay, what is this? A military camp. Okay, avoid that one in a big circle. We don't want to step on any mines. I want to just mind my own business. Don't destroy the bicycle on your first run, boy. Okay. So this is the trader. If he has an auger right now, I'll cry. Even if I sell everything I have. Literally everything. I cannot buy the auger. But let's see if he has a working forge. Nope. Destroyed. Ooh, a decent amount of things. The workbench is up and running. Uh, the cement mixer did have some uses. 
Okay, and camp station. Where is his camp station? Right here. It's destroyed as well. Oh well. It's not a total loss. Please die. For the greater good of mankind. Thank you. Okay. Looking lovely right now. I can see Jane woke up. She's playing Seven Days to Die. At least it says so here. Okay, let's see. Forge Steel. Uh, oof. I do want to buy that. Per 10, I can get 78 for all of it. Uh, should I or shouldn't I? How much can I get? Uh, j I could repair the pickaxe then. I really do need the steel. Oh well, we'll see in a minute. Let's go and pick up that airdrop. I do think... Uh, yeah, he's marked. Okay. I do think good things await in that airdrop. Ow. Okay, there's a small ravine up ahead. Maybe it's some water. No, it's just another house. And the guy really loses stamina fast. Um, do you know how many days it takes for the piggies to respawn in the boars? In the boars house? Let's see. Okay, a bit more. We will visit the passing gas quite soon. Another car to wrench apart. Okay. Is this? No, this is a... Holy moly, that city is huge. Uh, AK. Are you kidding me? An AK on day one. Uh, day two, sorry. So, same as the loot respawn time. Kill some disturbed tourists. Mm, waypoint is where? Uh, quite far away. Uh, I will be doing that a bit later. The Bob spores will be the first thing I do um, after my break. But for now. Let's drop off the air drops contents at home. Okay. So once every five days I get to harvest a lot of meat from the little piggies. I do think I will be set for the whole series with food. The only problem I will have is probably water. But sooner or later I will find some location that has then I'll just make a well at home. It's a shame you cannot naturally make it uh, like a 4x4 four four deep well. But I will find a way to make it work. Mm -hmm. Let's drink some water. 
Uh, I'm at the end of my water supply. Need to be careful how I use it. Or I will be needing to loot a building or two to get it. There is no snow biome where I can go and just collect it, so that's a problem. And there's no way to collect the rain. They should probably build that in. Okay. I do think I'm all set for now. I will be back after a 20 minute break. So thank you guys for watching and see you later.